maybe everything that has happened in Skellige actually happened before Siri was in Novigrad but again she can move however she wants so it could not be it the hunt what's it want from Siri <laughs> her blood, her blood. <laughs> elder blood to open the gate we cannot we cannot allow this Isle of Mists, where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Okay, makes sense. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play real. It's literal. Arwen. Arwen. Shrem. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Oh. Hurry. Hurry. We have to go back to Skellige. I tried to protect her. But the curse. The hunt has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. They will protect her. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Um, if um, so, she was taken and not kidnapped, I think. And um, she probably didn't want to be hidden away because of her character. Uh, I mean, her attitude. Yeah, character. Maybe. Unless this guy is lying as well and he's like secretly uh, deceiving us. Is he gonna make it? You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. <laughs> Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. I've seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently yeah. damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through. Do you understand? But... Maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe he was not Witcher material to begin with. Even though we have made all the process in the wrong way, so... Um, can we try and disintoxicate him? If that's the word you use it. I will, I will never know. <laughs> I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? Uh, what? How do you know this Avalok? Yeah. What's uh. Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Oh. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? He is not a friend. <sighs> I need to go read his journal page because I have no idea. What do you guys think? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. Exactly. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Siri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. Okay, trap. We plan to fight them. We five. In a crumbling castle. Mm. Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? We could. Boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. <sighs> now you're telling me this? Well, I, I don't understand how I'm going to do this, but I, be I bet the quest log is going to explain it to me. <laughs> And you? What do you plan to do? I have Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. 
<sighs> Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good looking women in that batch? Mm hmm. Exclusively. Well. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. I don't know who the hell I could call, honestly. Well, Triss, for sure. Roche, for sure. But I don't feel like he should be having this fight. I, I don't know if he's gonna be... Well, he's gonna say yes. I mean, Roche for sure, but... Oh, I have actual quests too. Wolfgard? Raylan? Brothers in arms, Valen has been. Oh, it's maybe because if I had the Baron still alive, I could do something with him. Maybe, but it's fine. If I didn't know this beforehand, which I'm glad I didn't, I would have been nicer. To a lot of people, but I'm actually happy I didn't know this, that I had to gather allies. Hey, <sighs> welcome back. So before oh. starting with our, uh, can you stop at <laughs> starting with our main quest? Uh, are you kidding me? You don't even know where you're going. You're just going around there in a circle. Wow. <sighs> Before getting into... Oh my god. <laughs> Before getting into the main quest again, we are going to do some contracts and side quests. But most importantly, we have very many contracts that we have left open from very many episodes ago. One of these is uh, about... Uh, that elf that's really a smith but that now sells dumplings and um, I think he's being threatened by some thugs. Technically we have destroyed all, I mean not technically, I mean we kind of hey, have ridden uh, the whole watch. Novigrad uh, of the mm, main tag uh, bands. Uh, but I, I think it, everything will still work for this um, quest. We, I want to see who... I don't remember uh, which tags we were talking about. But anyway, Hattori, that's you that I want. This guy has been waiting for us a long time. Hattori, are you kidding me? Wasn't this quest at night? Okay, I can't stand this anymore. <sighs> I'm here. Excellent. Shall we? Yes. Oh my god. I, I knew this quest was uh, at night. I don't know why he moved away. <sighs> Lead the way. Splendid. Come. <laughs> Months later. We're going to do this. Thank God he's not angry. The king of beggars, man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to ire, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. Where are we going? <laughs> You're winding. Oh no, we are helping m make a deal with this supplier? Okay, no. well, it's normal, I don't remember anything about this quest. Like, it's been so much time. Well, there are thugs. 
Bonito. You were to come alone, elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. <laughs> Very posh, uh, concerned friend. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. That's a lot. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Oh, 35's as low as we'll go. You know what? I just, I can't stand tag bands. So, whether he is, wh whether it's the King of Beggars or Blipson or whoever, I'm, I want 25. 25's our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tramp. No deal. Come on, boys. Well, I guess they'll learn a lesson. Fine. No deal. Geralt, what are you... Wait. All right. Certainly know how to negotiate, concerned friend. Oh, 25 it is, and the discount. <laughs> Agreed. Pleasure doing business. I wanted with to kill them uh, to send uh, a message, but maybe it's better like oh, this. Oh, boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. <laughs> now we are fighting. Cleaver's uh, boys. Ah, uh, you know who these people are, Geralt. <laughs> oh, Hattori. Poor thing. He's in the middle of it. Try to get that one. Who's shooting? Raul? Actually, you know what? We use this one. There. Much better. Can you hit him? Hit him! Oh god. They're all dead, your man? Are you kidding me? Wow. You're hard resistant, aren't you? Geralt, quickly! Where are we going? Can you Careful, there could be more in there. Careful, there could be more. Follow me. But where I'm taking you? Back to your house? I mean, fighting them could have been bad because they would have um, retaliated against the elf. Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you give us any men? If they're gonna give uh, him men to protect him, um, the deal just... <sighs> These men need to be paid, right? So the deal... Anyway, I was saying that uh, if I killed these guys, they would have retaliated uh, against Hattori. Yes and no, you never know how these things go. 
because sometimes uh, by killing a couple of people you send a clear message sometimes you just hire them more you make them angry um, it depends uh, which chances you want to take and uh, which chances they want to take but uh, the outcome here was different from what I expected so think they'll come back a few of Cleaver's little shits escaped bugger probably already knows everything I've no men to spare can't guarantee your safety if I was you I'd lay low for a time thanks tin boy down the line the bosses will make a deal you'll be left alone all you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Hattori, wait. I remember actually telling him, and now I remember a little bit. Um, actually telling Hattori that he should have, shouldn't have made any deals. What is he? With thugs? Because it was risky, but he wanted to, so... Hattori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until mid in van. <laughs> <laughs> this guy should have stuck to dumplings. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! I told you. No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. <laughs> Geralt is Precisely. Pretty. Leftovers. You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me. Oh, find you. Maybe somebody Zoltan knows. Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. I you could to ask. Talk to him yourself. We parted not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I. And he should to work for you? Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. <laughs> please, don't leave me this way. Um, I can ask the guy, but uh, Hattori needs to sort himself out. Uh, he doesn't seem to be a very sound person. I mean, he is a sound person, but he doesn't seem to make the right choices. Yes, I should interject. What? <coughs> <laughs> well, they're brawling, Geralt. What the f are you doing? We weren't done conversing. <laughs> Call that a conversation? <laughs> Not your plain business. You need a smack, is that it? Oh! What? Keep it together, legs. What the hell? I wasn't even ready for this. Get fucked. My god! Skelligers. That's what they are. <laughs> Sorry, but you asked for it. Yeah. I'm Geralt. Sacrus. 
You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. This quest. What brings you here, Garrett? <sighs> you and the merchant, what was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that clown rotter is beyond me. <laughs> that was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk made first. Skellige mead, we need barrels, we'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. <laughs> exactly, mate. Um, I, I don't see how this could end in a good way, but... Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not, if there's coin in it? Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. <laughs> yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. Okay. I, I could talk. Because, honestly, I don't even need a Hattori because I have um, <sighs> Joanna. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do so... you want me to do? <laughs> Smash his stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay. But it's fair. <laughs> so this guy doesn't care about money? I'd rather get him the money than uh, ruin a Perfectly good barrel of mead. I mean, I'm <laughs> quite sensitive with food. I don't like when it's going to waste. <laughs> it's uh, a personal insult to me when food goes to waste. I don't know why. It's just... Um, it's just me. <laughs> Geralt, I don't know. I don't think he would care, so he could totally do this. I can still convince him to pay. Sorry, but I'm not getting uh, involved with those people again. There might be a guard next to them. They're under there! <laughs> huh. Um, is it you? Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get... Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. <laughs> Got a problem with Sucrus? I thought, mead. I shall import mead. Daft idea for a business. The import duties. My bollocks shrivel at the thought. I paid the bastard what we agreed, less half the duties. And palm trees will sooner sprout in Skellige. Yeah, I know. Just pay him. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes, I'm on my way. <sighs> I hope he never deals again. I hope they never deal with each other again and this is the end of it. 
so by now all the thugs should go well they are still down there you know what I'm gonna kill them because I don't think uh, guards are gonna bother me down here because I wanna see I wanna see if they have uh, if they have sandwiches for me do you have sandwich? Right fish, okay, I'll take that, fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I needed to replenish. I went all around in Kermoran and there was just water. <laughs> I couldn't really find any actual food. Sadly. What? I don't get it. What's their problem? <laughs> oh, gee. Sometimes the NPCs scream. Just. Bravo, Witcher. I've material for another ballad. Okay. Greetings. Hi, hi, Geralt. How you doing? <sighs> Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. <laughs> oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. I hope Hattori doesn't behave like an idiot. You're gonna grab the drone cards? I hope not. Boring as fucking shit. One drink, all I had. Hey, I'm so. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm really dandy like this. Are you, Gerald? You can't go to March anymore, Gerald, because now you have a a fiance. Um, are you kidding me? Enough! 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 Well, he's here. I mean, Sucrus. Greetings, Satori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Good. You accept orders for swords now. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. <laughs> but if you... No. You'd never agree. <laughs> agree to what? I happen to know where van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. For starters, um, I don't get it. Didn't this guy have the deal? Just I, I, 
This quest is not under my control anymore, I don't know. Anyway, he's a swordsmith, so... Maybe I need him to craft master swords and stuff, that's why. Though honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with the swords I find. And I don't really think I have found any schematics for griffin swords. Well, I don't remember. I need to check out. Because while the armor was interesting um, for me to forge, I never really looked into the weapons because uh, the swords I find are just fine. But let's see. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. Really? It isn't. So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? <laughs> Why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults... Come on. You can't... All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. 